thyroid muscles that are responsible for depression of the jaw, which allows you to open the jaw. Okay, um, the way that we test this is you curl your fingers around the chin and you ask the patient to take her tongue and try to touch the back of her throat. And those muscles pop out. If you try that on yourself, if you're watching this video, take your, take your fingers and apply them in that area. Sorry. Take your fingers and apply them in that area and um, take your tongue and try to touch the back of your mm -hmm. throat mm -hmm. and those muscles will pop out. You Pretty can tall. test the strength of those muscles um, on anybody that you're doing a lot of intense neck work and especially when you're doing TMJ work on. These are muscles that help control swallowing and they're, they get very, very weak in people who have had um, a stroke mm -hmm. or Alzheimer's. Um, if um, there's MS, multiple sclerosis going on, any kind of speech pathologies, things like that. These muscles get very, very weak. So the, just the simple act of taking your tongue and trying to touch the back of your throat is a strengthening exercise that as a massage therapist I cannot prescribe to you. I can just explain to you what that function does. And if you choose to do it on your own to strengthen those muscles and improve your overall health situation, then you feel free to do that. But I have not prescribed that particular exercise to you. All right? Clear right. on that, everybody? Clear on that? Understood. Clear. Okay. So you're palpating the medial lateral pterygoids. You've palpated the masseter. Mm -hmm. You ready to go inside? I'm ready. All right. Okay. Take your hand and grasp her head. And I you tend to use that for stabilization. And if you don't mind, turn it just a little bit to the that way towards the camera so they can see what you're doing. Okay. Now. All right, so if you'll open your mouth. Do you want one? And I'm oh, going to insert, let's see here, on the outside of the teeth, mm -hmm. and you're going to close your teeth together, not totally together, Just right? relax. You have to endure and a relaxed then, situation. And then I feel... Mm -hmm. You want to start going straight in. And am I am I looking for the the masseter or am no, I looking? No, you're looking for a uh, muscle between okay, the top and the bottom. Okay, I think I found it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, okay. I found now, it. Now you so. want just direct pressure on. And as a massage therapist, when you engage that muscle, apply enough pressure to start getting it to respond to you. You want to feel that little bit of a jiggle at the end of your finger that the muscle is aware that you're there and wanting you to move. And Are you okay? Mm -hmm. And as it starts to relax, you can increase that pressure just a little bit. Again, being careful to pay attention to her facial reactions. I'm giving it a lot of pressure, I think, but... Okay. Now, if you want to transition towards her sinus cavity, just slowly shift your finger that way. You okay? Mm -hmm. Is that a little more intense with the muscle that you there feel? You go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And as we've already discussed, um, being close to the sinus, there's a lot of activity, especially now that we're into our eighth week of winter, spring mm -hmm. flip flop. Um, everyone's sinus issues are going crazy. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. And. Um, Remember, this is just like you would palpate the sinuses externally. You're just affecting them internally. You're also affecting the oral muscles, the intraoral muscles. Okay. You want to transition down again slowly so that you're going down towards her chin, where she was probably going to have less of a reaction. Okay, down in. Yeah, just stay on that, stay on to the bone is where you want to feel like you're going to. I feel like I'm on your your jaw. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to feel the tooth? Bone. You want to feel the bone? Yes. Okay. I All got right. it. All right. And you're probably not getting much of a response there. Okay. So you want to come out and have her stretch. Can you move your jaw side to side? Good. See that activity is increasing. Good. 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 All right. Now open it one more time and close. Very good. Okay, now the next step, now that we know that her greatest area of activity is 
is straight back in towards the sinuses. So what you're going to do is go back in on that side, and I want you to go straight back, and I want you to go up, and then I want you to slowly start working that whole area from internally like that around. And you want to go up around the gums for the teeth, and you want to get the bottom teeth too, oh. because anytime you're in there stimulating this muscle tissue, you're increasing vascularization, you're promoting healing, and you're forcing that muscle to relax even more. The thing with TMJ, it can be a very, very intense pain, so you want to do it in little stages. You want to do a couple minutes at a time to the intensity that she can withstand. That will increase the more it relaxes and the more she gets used to what you're doing and the, quick, and the more that she responds to the treatment. You can stay in there longer. But you want to start out with a little short burst, side to side, lots of stretching, lots of assessing, lots of communication that everything is okay. This is a very, very intense treatment. All right? So okay. go back in and see what kind of progress you have made just by that one little introduction. Okay. Close. Stabilizing here. Sorry. That's all right. Okay. Okay, so it's pretty tight back there. Okay. All right, so do a little circular motion there, just a little stroking. As long as you're touching it and stimulating it, you really can't do a wrong stroke in there unless you get too intense. And then you run the risk of getting bit. So mm -hmm. um, you want to modulate that. Does she bite? Yes, <laughs> she does. Just kidding. Her bite is definitely worse than the bark. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I caught that little gesture. <laughs> How's it feeling, Esperanza? It's fine. She's not being too intense at all. Okay. So you're at a good, comfortable level for her, Pat, so take it up one more notch. Okay. A little more pressure. Now, in an instance where you have an oral cancer or a lot of um, tooth loss, you're going to want to touch the gums that are available to you just to promote the vascularization. With um, oral cancer, you want to palpate and, and stroke and massage up into the soft palate. That'll help stimulate all of that. And you even, when they have intense pain when in the lower part, you'll even want to go around the lower bottom, the teeth, around the jaw, even to the front and just stimulate all of that. You're not going to hurt anything in there. Stimulating the blood flow and the innervation is only going to make it heal faster. Whenever there's patients that come in with where they've had radiation mm -hmm. to the specific areas, they're in extreme pain mm -hmm. in those areas. Do yes. you still... It, to their comfort level, when they're ready for it to be worked, I will... I will probably educate them about the benefits of the way to reduce the pain mm -hmm. from the radiation and from the chemotherapy is to touch it as soon as possible. It's the same with other injuries okay. too. That it's going to be intense and painful to touch it at first, but that's how you get the desensitization to start decreasing. You have to touch it. Sometimes it's easier for them to start that because it's well within their control. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people are reluctant to touch something like that because they're not, they don't give themselves pain very easily. So you're really going to have to judge the individual. But touching that as soon as they can tolerate it is going to make it heal faster and can become less and less sensitive so much quicker. Okay. Awesome. And as long as they understand that, they understand this is a painful and intense treatment, Stretcher. you get them on board with that, then they're, they know what to expect. How does that feel? And they're not going to be okay. as reluctant. Yeah, they're not going to be as scared. They're going to know what to so. expect and they're going to buy into the treatment. They'll be more, way more compliant. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, a lot. All right, Pat, why don't you yeah. swap out for Grace? Discard that glove.